Armando and I are back up off the 395, but this time we're heading even further north and are planting rubber down in the Toyabe National Forest. This trip, we'd soon find out the trail had much more snow than anticipated and there would be no one else out there on these fresh powder roads. But the question we were asking ourselves is would we be able to make it to our destination? What do you think of Canada, eh? It's beautiful out here, man. Have you ever wanted to explore in the snow with no one else around? Well, join us for this adventure. You're not going to want to miss it. What's going on you guys and welcome back to another video. So I am at beautiful Mono Lake right here where there's uh, these limestone tufas. Unfortunately, I can't fly the drone. And uh, yeah, so Armando is on his way over here. He should be here in the next 20 minutes. We're gonna go explore a place called Cavanaugh Ridge today. The ridge lies at about 10,000 feet of elevation and should be a great time. We'll see you guys at the trail. We'd soon make it to the trailhead where we'd air down the tires using the Morflate. If you're interested in getting a Morflate for yourself, I provided a link in the description. We started making our way up the trail and we were surprised to see how much snow was actually on the trail. I think I might want to air down more. I was gonna say the same thing. We were already aired down to 17 PSI and we already found ourselves losing traction on the first hill. Located east of the Sierra Nevada in the Toabi National Forest, this rocky road to the summit is totally unpaved, and in our case, we'd be driving through fresh powder, which was absolutely beautiful, but it wouldn't come without its own challenges. The road was narrow in places, windy, and hard to follow due to the snowfall.
This is epic. This lake is crazy. It looks like part of the lake is frozen. Places like these is absolutely exciting because you really never know what you're going to find and there's so many variables in play such as weather changes, vehicle reliability, and navigation. In our case, we just pulled up to this frozen lake and we'd definitely be hanging out for a while. Think of Canada, eh? It's beautiful out here, man. Canada. Wow. Alaska, bro. Hey, so the viewers want to know, uh, you got the matching hat and, uh, and the jacket. And jacket, and you got a fresh dale. Fresh. A fresh. Uh, <laughs> let's see the fresh cut you got That's just for the video, cut, or what? This was just for this trip. Dang, man. You got that fresh fade, bro. So we're at this iced over lake at about the halfway point. This frozen over lake is absolutely amazing. Is it cracking? I heard it crack. Dude. So it's like frozen. Oh shoot. <laughs> you know I've fallen in a frozen lake before. Down to my ankles. Oh, you hear it? Oh, it's cracking. Look, 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 look. No way. Film it right here. Jump. Don't, don't. <laughs> Dude, you fall in, you're done. <laughs> it's not that deep. It's gonna be cold the rest of the night. Yeah, but look at the crack. Well, yeah, there's nobody else up here from what I could tell. And I'm here with Pitbull. All right, let's make it to the ridge. Gonna try to get a running start here. He's aired down to 17, as I am. That's the most important thing looking cool for the video. Some fresh powder.
At this moment in time, we had this snow-covered mountain all to ourselves, and we were having a great time playing in the snow. Dude, that's like just a straight wall of snow, bro. Do you see that? Do you think that's it or do you think it's still around it somehow? Let me fly the drone around and see what I can find because this is just a steep ledge right here. I'm making progress, right? I just gotta get like another 10 feet. Do I look okay? I wanna get up to those rocks. I'm getting into the deep stuff now. I want to get up right there, dude. All right, so we decided we're going to go to the the other side of the snow hill and uh, try to get up from that side. So stay tuned. We're not giving up yet. All right, so Armando was smart. We made it up, you guys. We're going to make some hot chocolate. Bro, just floor it. All right, so I spoke too soon. We weren't at the top yet. Dude, we're not at the ridge yet. No matter what, we are determined to make it through this thick snow layer and make it to the ridge. I'm gonna come up. Send it, bro. Yeah. 
We navigated the icy challenges, our trucks pushed through the snow's resistance, and as we reached the snow-covered ridge, a sense of accomplishment flooded in. The white expanse stretched before us, a testament to perseverance and teamwork. Or maybe Armando just picked the better line up the snow hill. Regardless, atop that ridge, surrounded by pristine snow, we stood victorious, unified by the shared satisfaction of overcoming nature's wintry grasp. We'd soon see for ourselves just how magnificent the views were from 11,000 feet. Patch to go over what? Over the oh yeah. Oh yo. Oh yo. Oh yo. It's a prototype. Hey, who makes this? You know uh, some guy on offer up? No. You seen that movie uh, Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift? Uh huh. So that dude that fixes up all those cars actually came out with this. All right, so I got the diesel heater going taking off my boots because they are wet they're uh they're waterproof to a point but they're not uh completely waterproof so my feet are cold i got a another change of clothes and like a bunch of socks so i'm gonna put on some some warm socks and my tennis shoes and then we are going to use my built-in stove here for the first time ever pretty stoked so if you guys need some good thermals that are cheap, eBay, military thermals. I just got this one. If you don't, if you don't watch Venture to Rome, go subscribe to his channel. He's got some killer videos. Ready to get a fire going, warm up. I'm just gonna leave the diesel heater running. That way it's ready to, uh, that way it's warm in here when I'm ready to go to bed. Ooh, this fire is really nice. Man. We both got our diesel heater set up. I am going to cook dinner tonight inside the camper. Top topper. That's a Tesla? That's a Tesla, he bro. Took it up in the dirt? <laughs> no way. <laughs> he tried to come up, bro. He's crazy. <gasps> <laughs> wow. So what's happening with the diesel heater, man? It's throwing out a code. E05. What does it mean? It means it's overheating. It's a POS training heater? It means it's a piece of shit. <laughs> Look how this little table he's got here. It's got the exhaust running through the bottom here. Dick Sporting Goods. Dick Sporting Goods. So, pretty cool. The stove works. <laughs> Living in luxury over here. This ain't overlanding. This is glamping. If 
you've never tried yellow bird sriracha, this stuff is the bomb. It's delicious. I'm going to enjoy my ramen and veggie dinner. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. It looks so spicy. <laughs> it died. No way. Yeah. Oof. Oh yeah, buddy. Hi, mom. This is good, bro. Just kidding. Oh yeah, dude. This is good. We needed this fire, bro. So I wasn't expecting all that snow, bro. Me either. I mean, it is high in elevation. You know? But I don't know, for some reason, I always like don't expect snow. Dude, I or, knew it had snowed up here, but that was like, what, two weeks ago? <laughs> uh-huh. This is fresh powder. I know, dude. Dude, it's so cold, Armando's nose is running right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, call that out. <laughs> I'm not gonna put it in, all right? So if you guys want to check out some awesome YouTube channels, if you're not subscribed, I told you about Venture to Rome. Check out Trail Newbie. Check out Independence Overland. Check out Baker Overland. Check out Revere Overland. And there is some that I'm forgetting for sure. But uh, those are some channels to check out. I was watching Revere Overland and Story Till Now on the way up here on the 395 to pass the time. Driving and on YouTube? Driving and on YouTube, yeah. Good morning, you guys. Enjoying some hot chocolate. So unfortunately, last night, the diesel heater shut off. And it shut off because my batteries seem to be doing weird things. Um, clearly right now, my inverter will power up, my lights power up. I have like 80% battery, but I think because it was so cold, they're having issues. They are lithium batteries. Um, and I did get self-heating batteries, so they're supposed to be better in the cold. But um, yeah, we'll just have to figure it out. It's not too bad, things could be a lot worse. So, and I am toasty in here right now with, uh, with the buddy heater. As I opened my eyes at 11,000 feet, the world unfolded before me. The air was crisp and the mountains stood like ancient guardians. The sunrise painted the sky in hues I'd never imagined. It felt like being on the edge of the world. I marveled at the grandeur around me, realizing that sometimes the most profound awakenings occur when you find yourself embraced by the majesty of untouched heights. Are you alive? So, Armando's sleeping. I've been up for like an hour. I'm starting to worry about him. Actually, I've been worried about him for like 20 minutes because I've been pretty loud over here. And I went over there and I was like, Armando, nothing. I thought the diesel heater got you, bro. What do you mean? Because, dude, I was like 
being loud and talking and Armando I even went and freaking went up on the ladder and was like hey Armando no way yeah twice and I was starting to worry that's why I honked my horn right now bro you have a fun trip I had an amazing trip bro just cold were you warm in your tent most of that I was yeah all right you guys hope you guys enjoyed another video I will see you next Sunday. You guys have a great week. See ya.